Hello, my name is Bill. I would like to share to share a book entitled In Time of Trouble. I read the book entitled In Time of Trouble by Nancy Jane Kist. She wrote In Time of Trouble because she wants to encourage all the youth out there to be strong and to have faith in God, whatever happens. Nancy J. Lindquist is a former English medist, high school teacher, and youth worker who homeschooled her four sons until each went to high school. To narrate the story in time of trouble, Shane Donaway, who thought that everything he does seems to work out wrong, is failing his classes, about to be feared from his part-time job, and barely speaking to his parents, and his real problem is son, his twin brother. Shane Donaway often gets into trouble, until one day, Alicia and Ernie introduce God to him. At first, Shane doubted about God. He thought, what if there was a God? What if, when you died, there was something after? It was one thing to just cease to exist. But what if you didn't? What if you got what you deserved? But in the middle of his thought, he decided to believe Ernie and Alicia that there's a God and he's ready to let God take over his life. Shane let God to make differences about him. He's going with Alicia and Ernie, going to church and worshiping God. He even read Bible. That is his second chance in life. For me, the meaning of the book I read is about starting all over again, even if you're totally messed up and there's nothing impossible with God. I think the author is trying to say that no matter what happens, you must have faith in God because God can make differences to your life. I felt happy and grateful that I read the book in time of trouble. You, you will feel ghost bumps in you. It's like God is with you while reading this book. I like it very much because it's full of encouragement for all the people, not only for the youth who's not believing in God. This book of In Time of Trouble is for all the people who's losing faith in God, especially for the teen teenagers because some of them either teenagers doesn't know God and they and they don't want to know about Him. Yeah, growing up is rough and, and not that easy. That's the reason why some teenagers believe that there's no God. Wouldn't it be great, great if you're totally messed up and all the troubles are in you and you could start all over again? You will enjoy reading this book because you learn about love, respect, kindness, and the most important, you learn to have faith in God. And you realize something after this, reading this book. I bet you, you should also read in time of trouble. That's all. Thank you.